It's Madden NFL 24, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC West. It's the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's all up next. A month or two from now, the chilly hand of winter will certainly seize upon the Midwest. But for now, it's a great afternoon for football. The GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC. As it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And CD, you and I, we always enjoy our visits to Kansas City. These fans among the best in football. And they should be a happy punch, too. Their guys are defending Super Bowl champions. And the reason that they are is because the offense and the defense, they complement each other so well. Offense gets off the fast starts, allows the defense to just rush the passer, which is a strength of what they do. That and good barbecue, Kansas City, big time favorites. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, they're hoping to get this offense on track in year two under Russell Wilson. Charles, I wouldn't have believed this. They were the lowest scoring offense in the league last year, just 16.9 points per game. And that means you have to change things up, and they certainly have. You talk about operating under new management. This team certainly is. I expect this offensive production to really rise. And Russell Wilson, I think we'll see much more of the Russell Wilson we've seen in the past. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here come the defending champs, led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They run with the second year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now a throw here to his running back. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. So Patrick Mahomes, guys, he's playing at such an elite level. Defensively, coming into a game like this, Charles, what? <laughs> it's got to be a lot of things, but what worries you the most? <laughs> I think you're exactly right about that. The list is extensive about what worries you. The way he can move, make completions on the run, the way he can throw against his body, heck, make left-handed throws, you name it, he gets it done. The biggest thing, though, is once he gets in the rhythm, trying to get his timing chipped away, trying to stop that, that is really difficult to do. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first down, Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting bad as this game goes on. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. There he goes, right side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. 39 yards, and the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. 
Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Take it at about the one. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work and at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Now the third year man back and healthy. It's Javante Williams. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. Here's Wilson. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, Automatic but this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, Wilson. Turning left side here, and it's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Holding offense. This is unbelievable. Mike McGlinchey, the Notre Dame man, guilty on that one. Third down. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Throwing is Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Broncos! Adam Troutman. 37 yards and the Broncos are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own when we draw up defenses on the board we do account for every receiver but on that particular play somehow he was wide open became an easy touchdown pass Will Lutz on for the point after oh, 
It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Now a second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they get five there on third and two. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. Mahomes now on first down. He's got this to the rookie, Rasheed Rice. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Pacheco gets it up the gut. 55 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was another good run, and he's having an excellent day. And right now, I don't think his team could have any more confidence in handing him the football. From the 29, here's the second and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be brought down just outside the red zone. Mark him at the 21. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Mahomes. And that is caught for a touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So this drive spans seven plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A couple of veterans, Wilson to Sutton there for the Bronco first. Play action. Wilson. Right side. It's Manhurts, the tight end. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 42 yard line. They go play action now. Wilson. He'll get this to his tight end, Trapman. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and sent him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, right at the 40. To throw again is Wilson. A short one of the tight end, Troutman. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup, brings up second and two. And the Chiefs From the 33, here's second and a couple. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. On first down, Wilson. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Here's second and ten. They go play action with Wilson. This one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To throw is Wilson. And that is incomplete. The Kansas City defense took the throw on there, and now it's fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. The kick by Lutz is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. 
So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what would you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. This will be fielded at the 17. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Williams to about the 40-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Play action. Now Wilson. There's Manhurts, the tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. 
Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop him? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, down at the 31. There's Wilson to throw. And his throw is incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Wilson. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured Chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. They give it to Williams, running right. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the ten. 57 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. But well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Play action. It's Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Bad place to fumble down here in the red zone. At least they got it. They'll have another shot. Or no, they won't have another shot. It's going to be fourth down. Maybe they can at least salvage three. And they were thinking six points because at this position of the field, it's go time, right? You take your shots at the end zone. They weren't able to do that one. So you look over at the sideline. There's the head coach saying, oh, heck, kick it. Field goal time. Now Lutz for the field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Lutz is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. the made field goal Lutz to kick it away Washington now brings this out and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 and the Chiefs now getting set to go obviously not the intended goal last drive they had to punt the football but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. Mahomes again here on second and ten. This one to the right caught by Valdez Scantling. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Yeah. 
Here's Mahomes to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That play might not seem like much yardage-wise, but when you look at it, maybe having to go three and out and put the football again, it becomes an important conversion. Now the question, can they keep it going from here? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Alex Singleton. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. They'll take over with great field position here, down a point as they start first and ten. After the interception, here's Wilson. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Well, the defense got in the front line with an interception. They trot out their Charles in the first play. They'll give the football right back. Still ran out of his adventure coming like an auctioneer. We got two, we got two. Right here, three. Remember, it was two in a row. But we had three in a row because these offenses, they got careful as they go forward. These defenders were locked in and really focused. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Mahomes going to throw. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He's got the connection to Moore. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. And again, it's Mahomes. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. From the 21, it's second and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez scambling, bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And they're able to add on to their advantage. In the second quarter, and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Butker on for the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now, after. 
after the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Screenplay set up for Williams. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Wilson. Here's a diving catch right side. Denver has the first down. The play going for 15 yards. To me, there's nothing like watching rookie effort in the NFL. So excited to be there. They're going to give you the max on each and every play, aren't they? Yeah, he proved himself on that catch, that's for sure. I think he may have proved himself to the point where he's going to get a second here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Cortland Sutton was the man he was looking for. And now it's second down. the middle it's Williams four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains on third down Wilson and he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Chris Jones coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up four. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. On fourth down, it's Riley Dixon on now to kick it away for Denver. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. On the counter, here's Williams. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do? to slow him down before he truly gets started. On second down, Wilson, a short one, and it's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Chiefs, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense. 
defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Another drive coming for KC. And we'll see where Coles Valdez Scantling once again. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he is. That's well documented. How do you contain him? We know he's a nightmare. So in this situation, I would go ahead and double him. Maybe even have a third person in the area the and try and dissuade review. them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while because I don't know that their talents are his because when he gets his hands on the ball, he breaks down my entire D. Someone else, they may not make the same type of a play. Well, we know his talents are very good. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And now off to the races down the right side. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. Now that was a big run. It takes him all the way down to the one-yard line, and that'll shake the confidence of any defense. So when they're looking for a little bit of support now, looking at their defensive coordinator, if I'm him, I dial up some pressure. I just go after him because otherwise... And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He didn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last lap by baiting the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Now Lux for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Lutz is good, and that'll get the lead down to five. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. We'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down.
Now Mahomes. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Now here's Mahomes. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. Yeah, nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to try tackle it. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. That well, one caught by Rice. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A very solid gain of 27. Now, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty After tight. Play, now here's the call. On the field stand. Now it's Mahomes again. And man, and he hits him in stride. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. He scored on the ground and through the air as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Denver's offense now set to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Now a third and six. There's Wilson to throw. And this 
is going to be incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he is finally forced out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. This is caught. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. Is this a touchdown? That's the question, CD. What are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stays. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, four plays, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. This is your game, baby. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Well, now how about this return? And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Here's Wilson. And that will be in. 
incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Wilson. Throw out wide is incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing is Wilson. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. Taken from just outside the 30. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the reigning league MVP and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, who did his thing. He was on point repeatedly, ultimately finishing with four touchdown passes in those first two quarters alone. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And the Broncos offense set to begin this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard in the 27. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case... He had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Now second and nine. They run it again with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Michael Dana able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 
Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. Here's Riley Dixon now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And taken right at the 35. Powering his way forward. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Mahomes now on first down. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Well, he is out of bounds inside the 35. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. Able to slither by it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. A good rip by Pacheco. And you have to go back to 1990 with Johnny Johnson with the Cardinals to find a rookie seventh rounder with more rushing yards than he had last season. The 251st pick out of Rutgers took over to KC backfield with 830 yards in 2022. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that will bring up second down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez Scambling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs had six to their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will bump the lead up to 26. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. 
Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to <laughs> hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. I'd give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And that one results in 35 yards. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Williams going to get it again on second down. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now Wilson. Hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And that is no good. And they will remain well, well behind. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Another drive coming for KC, and we'll see Marquez Valdez scantling once again. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so Switch we don't have to cover him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that that mid-game trade is going to happen, but good thought. A man who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, 
I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. A gain of eight there on the play, and that'll leave them with a third and two. Mahomes now to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Mahomes throwing on fourth. It's Kelsey on the ground. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Broncos will take over on downs. So certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 15. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. This will be caught. Judy. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and five. They go play action with Wilson. Right side, it's Manhurts, the tight end. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Now second and five. Again, it's Williams. There he goes, right side. And all the way home for a Bronco score. 42 yards for Javante Williams. And the Broncos are able to cut into that deficit. Well, he was already over 100 yards running the football prior to this play, but this run may be his best yet. I've got to agree with you on that one. We're looking at a guy running with extreme confidence, running in harmony and sync with his blockers. All of them kind of moving as one. And look at the end result. Big plays. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And that'll make this a 19-point game. Five plays there on that drive. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. Hey, 
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Another drive coming for KC, and we'll see Marquez Valdez scambling once again. Sort of a slow and steady game so far, but reliable for him here in this third quarter. Sounds like we're describing a possession receiver, right? The one that finds a way to make the big catches, the ones that break the backs of defenses, keep first downs accumulating. I think he's that and maybe a little bit more. Yeah, he's been pretty good so far. We'll see if he can make this good game a great game. Eluding the pressure right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big gain. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Mahomes now on first down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and three at their 48-yard line. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. A run by Pacheco on second down. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. The Chiefs on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and 15. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So the Broncos coming out now. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble. But still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. 
On third down, Wilson. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. Michael Dana getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Another drive coming for KC, and we'll see Marquez Valdez scantling once again. And we get a peek at the kind of game he's having. It's been a good game. Eight catches now, Charles. Everyone likes to spread the ball around. They want a lot of people to catch it and touch it, get a lot of guys involved. But sometimes when you have the hot hand or a person who is just really taking care of business in their part of the field, you have to keep going back to them. And they'll begin by running the option. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment running plays like this, and they still worry about it. But when you can break up big chunks of yardage like that, it's worth the risk. Plus, you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Now here's Mahomes. And he's got it. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. They'll run here with Pacheco. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> and they'll run again. And this time, he will score. Touchdown, KC. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Butker on for the PAT. Man, that will bump the lead up to 26. So that drive spanned five plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, 
they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen, where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Broncos first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw again is Wilson. He's got a man that's caught, left sideline. 18 big yards on that one, and a Denver first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Play action. It's Wilson. Completes the pass to Judy on the crossing pattern. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. And they'll fake the jet sweep, but instead of give up the middle to Williams. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Second and nine. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 157 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. From the two now, second and goal. Williams. Trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. 
Fourth down now after a loss of two. I get the thought process. Third and short, give it to the fullback, let him bulldoze his way, but that means you're counting on your offensive line to win the line of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, and there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. On fourth and goal, here's the option. And he'll be caught behind the line of scrimmage at the three. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball's going to be going back to the Chiefs. In a design QB run in that spot, maybe trying to catch the defense off guard a bit. It didn't work, though. Again, we're seeing that college influence come into the NFL. Quarterback run game on fourth down. We didn't see that very much in the previous years in the NFL. No, seeing it more, saw it there, did not work out. Turnover on downs. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Second and five. Again, it's Pacheco. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one... It was over a long time ago. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 42. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. A nice little juke. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football, unfortunately. There's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses. But you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try to get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, so now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out on the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Four yards the pickup, first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. 
they deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Pacheco once again. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into this offense? They certainly were there in this one. Huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.